All right, so here is a referral session for a client, you know who you are, um, where we can't lift the neck. We've got to keep the tension off the neck. So I'm going to be cueing what we're doing, keeping it for the most part. I'll cue the springs as well. So we're on, I'm on a peak, peak Pilates reformer. So, um, anyway, red spring is the heaviest, yellow is medium, blue is light, and green is super light. So, to start with our footwork, I'm gonna have two yellow and one green, okay? So, two yellow and then one green spring. Remember, green is the very lightest, all right? Okay, so why don't we do it the proper way? Get the headrest where it is. Um, okay, so standing to the left, and you can see me in here in the mirror if you can't see me here, okay? So I'm on the right side of the reformer. My left foot is in line with the edge of the, um, of, of the reformer. Right foot goes behind, my arms go to genie arms. I'm gonna lower, pivot, and sit right down. So I have one cheek on, one cheek off. My left hand goes onto that shoulder rest, and here I am, okay? So starting with my footwork, I've got my headrest up. Uh, as long as my neck feels good, so take your headrest down if your neck doesn't. Arms strong by your side. I start with my heels, I'm parallel. I push out and I come back. Again, out and come back. Good, out I go, whoa, and in I come. So what you wanna really think about is as you, pull, as you come in, you're pulling in. Out you go and in, good. I'm gonna go five more here, go five and go four, good, three, nice, two, and then there's one, okay? Now come back, I slide down to my instep. I'm still parallel, okay? Out I go, and in, and again, out I go, and I pull in, out, and pull in, good. Out, and pull in, out. I'm gonna say five more. I'm gonna go five here, and go three, I kind of changed my feet too. Also, I'm reminding myself to do the wrap. And one more there. I come in, I slide down to the balls of my feet. I'm still in parallel. Palms up, collarbones are wide, and I go out and in 10 times. Good. Nice. Keep it moving. Remember, you gotta pull all the way in without planking around, right? I'm gonna say four more. And go three, and go two, and go one, and I pull myself in. Now all I do is I bring my heels together. So I've got this nice external rotation. Knees are only as wide as my shoulders. Right, Truman? And 10 times here. Good. Out and in. Out and in. And again, I'm pulling myself in. I'm gonna say five more, okay? So let's go five of this, go four, go three, good. go two, and one. I come in, I'm gonna slide my feet to the edges of my foot bar. My heels are still high, oh, my heels are high now, right? Here I am, and again, let's go five of these, go four, Go three, go two, and go one more. Okay, so now I'm gonna to start to roll around in my hips. I push out, I rotate my knees in, I come in. And then I turn out, I push out. My knees come in, I come in. Open, I push out, my knees in, I come in. Two more, out, knees in, I come in. One more, my knees flare, I push, my knees come in, and I come in. It's important that the heel is lifted here so you can get that easy mobility. So now your knees are in, push out, turn out, and pull yourself in. Knees in, push out, turn out, pull yourself in. Knees in, push out, turn out, pull. Again, knees, push, turn out. Last one, knees, push, turn out, come in. Now from here, I just slide my feet together. 
my heels are still together and I'm in a high heel. I want to push out, drop my heels, lift my heels, come in. I'm going to progress this. Push out, drop twice. Oh, that feels good. And then come in. Push out, drop three and two and one. And I come in. Push out, go four and three and two and one. Come in. Push out, go five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we move to four, back down. Out, go four, three, two, one. I pull in. Push out, go three and two and one. I come in. Push out, go two and come in. And last one, push out, drop, lift, come in. Now I'm taking your legs parallel now. Push out and just prance and prance. So just kind of moving through it. Then I'm going to hold my right, take my left toes, clip under and give myself a pull. Or I could hold onto the rails, right? Switch sides. Right toes go under, I give myself a little bit more pull with my hands here. Both heels go on, drop both, lift both, come on in. <sighs> okay, being right here. I'm going to actually take this headrest down a bit. Okay, so you just kind of have to work with it and notice for you what works best for you. Okay, so now from here, arms are strong by your side. I want you to push out and just bring the leg to tabletop and back down. Tabletop, back down. Tabletop, back down, tabletop, back down, bend your legs and come in. All right, good. So I was noticing I was getting jammed up in my shoulders, so kind of worked my way down a bit. My arms are going to circle around, grab onto my spikes, my legs float up. Let me try that again. Okay, so my arms circle around, grab onto my spikes, take a leg to table another leg to the table, holding here. And now just sway. Oh my gosh. Sway side to side. I want your elbows to stay wide as you sway these legs together, one side, then the other. And then bring it right back and then lower those feet down. Good. Okay, send your legs over the bar so they're long. Arms go to the sky. This is just a transition, so why don't we do this? Grab one leg, rock yourself up, Okay, I'm up, and now I'm going to change the springs. Let's see, where am I taking this next? Hmm. Change the springs a little bit. So from here, I want to go to a red, one red, one heavy, and one light. So there we go. So I've got one red, my green, okay? Arms reach long, and I roll myself right down, okay? Stay right here, bring a foot and a foot. Now, I want to be right here. My headrest has to, needs to be down now, okay? We're going to go into a bridging, so I don't want the headrest lifted. So first, just practice. Legs are parallel, just bridging up without the carriage moving. And then roll down. It is challenging because you, know, you don't have a lot of tension, so that could move. So stay right here, try it again. Bridge up. And then roll it down. Try one more. Bridge up. Oh, that carriage moved. And then down we go. Okay, now we're going to go to a sequence, okay? So you're parallel. You might even lift your head one time, make sure your knees are in line with each other. You're squared off. Good. Okay, now a sequence. You're going to bridge up, push away, roll down, and pull yourself in. Okay? So we bridge. Push away, not all the way, but enough. Roll down and pull yourself in. Two more like that. We bridge, the carriage doesn't move, and then it moves when I want it to. And then I roll down and I pull in, and I have one more. Bridge up, push away, roll down, and then I come in, okay? So far, so good. Now, reversing that. I'm gonna push away, I'm gonna bridge. So. You're in this long, see, we're lifted here. And then 
I'm gonna pull the carriage in, 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 all the way, and then I roll down. Definitely the more challenging of the two. So first I push away, and then I bridge up. I pull in, 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 and then roll it down. Side note, no turning your head, okay? So I'm gonna try to cue it really well so you don't have to look at the video or whatever it's called. Okay, let's try it again. We push away, I lift, I pull in, 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 keep that carriage in, and roll down. I bounce a little, <laughs> avoid the bounce. Let's try it one more time, I'm really gonna focus. I push away, I bridge up, I pull in, I pull in, I pull in, it stays in, and I roll down, ooh, and I roll down, okay. Send it long and just give me some prancing. Oh, God. All right. Good. And then we're going to stop that. Okay, now I'm going to leave it on those two springs. All right. I got to find. Oh, there they are. Okay. Now, here I'm holding my handles. Okay. Now, I want to put some tension in my arms just here. So, again, it's not real heavy, but at any point it goes into your neck, you fast forward. Now from here, both legs lift and both legs lower, right? So there's no movement of the carriage and both legs lower together. Both legs lift and both legs lower. One more, both legs lift. They're gonna stay there and I'm gonna relax, okay? So let's leave your legs at tabletop, okay? And just press your arms down and then bring them back up. Now, you know, you might do, you know what I'm gonna do here? So right now I'm on a red and a green. I'm gonna put my handles away for a second, send my legs over the bar, arms up to the sky, lift up and roll myself right up, okay? Because I need to take one spring off. So I'm gonna take the light spring off, so I'm just on one red. Okay, there it goes. All right, and let's see, just checking my notes. Mm-hmm, 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 good. Arms reach long, and all the way down we go, okay? All right, and bring your foot to the bar, foot to the bar. Now you're gonna grab your handles again. Now we're gonna go with feet and straps, which we all love that. So, what you have to do, okay, so see, here's my handle, and here's my thing for the strap. I'm gonna go ahead and let my strap come through the handle. This is kind of different because I have fuzzies on my handles or on my feet and straps, but it still works. So see how it's there? So it won't bonk me in the face, okay? Um, so there's one, let's do it like civilized. Get this other one. And again, I let my foot strap go, maybe I do, go through my handle, yeah. It's just awkward because I have the fuzzy thing on there. Let's see how that works. All right, now. Good. Okay, so from here, I push away. One foot goes in, just the foot strap. That's really crowded. There. Okay, then my other foot comes in the foot strap and push away. Okay, so I'm feeling, I want this one to switch. Yeah, I just don't want it too raveled around. Okay, good. So here I am, nice and comfy. Good. So my legs are straight up to the ceiling and then they both lower and they lift. So I lower about to my shoulder rests. Notice my attachment is in line with the rails. Some reformers are different. They have a, a the, the attachment can be raised. Again, lower. Now let's find your 45, I feel pretty good here. And then I'm gonna open and I'm gonna close. And again, I open and I close. And again, open and then you close, okay? Take your legs up, good. Hold right here and let's lower again. And right here, some nice frogs. The challenge here is to keep the heels connected. Knees go about as wide as your shoulders. Try to rein that in a bit. It does feel good though to have a nice wide frog here and out. 
My neck is long, my fingers are reaching. I'm on one red spring. Good. All right. Open those legs. Just be here and bend, extend. So it's like you're in a ballet second position. Oh, so crunchy in my hips. Doesn't hurt. It's definitely noisy in my body. And go two more. And go one more. Okay? Bring those legs together. The legs go up. Now I'm going to let my legs be parallel. I'm going to lower 45. Circle around. And again, lower. And circle around. Uh-huh. And again, lower. Circle around. And one more. That way. Okay, just letting it kind of roll around my hips. But the, the, remember in the footwork where we did knees out in like that, we were rolling around already. So now I get to open, pull down, resist it up. Again, open, pull down, and resist it up. And again, open, pull down, right? So just some nice circles. And then we come right back up. Good. Okay, now, 100. First, hold your legs 45. They're supported here. Arms go by my side. So I'm not going to be lifting my head, neck, and shoulders. You can if you want, but if you've got neck issues, you don't need to, right? You're right here. That's it. Arms are strong. And just, let's just do 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Hold there, bend your legs in. Now notice I did two different kinds of breath. I blew through the straw and then I fogged the mirror. So you just kind of pick which one works for you. You do want to make sure your lungs are filling fully and you're ex you know, emptying them fully. Okay, now here I am in my good frog position. Notice my thighs are not in. I'm at 90, but I'm going to try to keep that and use the frog for my 100. You know, let's change it a bit. Send your legs out. We'll come in for three, out for seven. Okay, we've done 30, let's, let's do 30 more. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three. Nice and slow, that's it, out there. Again, inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, bring those legs up, turn them parallel, okay? Now let's do the same thing. Let's finish up, we got 40 left. Legs are straight up. Again, they're not here. They're straight here, okay? I'm just gonna lower down for five and up for five. Arms are strong, okay? We got inhale, two, three, four, five. Lift, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Lift, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Up, two, three, four, five. Last time. Hold that there, nice. Bend your legs. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handles, okay? This is gonna be kind of awkward because of the fuzzy. So, what you do is you grab your handles, you grab your foot straps, uh -uh, and then your hands hold the handles, and ideally you just slide right through. But with the fuzzies, there's no sliding happening there. Okay, all right, here I am. Arms are strong, legs are a tabletop. Keeping the head down, I go into coordination. Send arms and legs long, legs open, close, knees in, arms up. I'm using long arms, okay? So it's different, different than a normal coordination. Also notice my legs are gonna go higher because I'm not lifting my head. Send my arms and legs long, up, up, knees in, arms long. Again, send it out, up, up. Knees in, arms long, and one more time. Send it out, open, close. Knees in, arms long. Whoop, there, good. Bring your feet down. Go ahead and drop off your handles on your spikes, maybe, and just let your knees go. Oh, side to side. Good, perfect. So we've been on our back quite a bit here. 
All right, nice. Send your legs over the bar, arms go up to the ceiling, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and we roll right up. Good, here we are, and then we're gonna roll down. I was just trying to see where I'm going here. Good, okay, arms to the sky, and again, we roll right up, and then down we're gonna go. All right, now let's stay here. We're still on one red spring, okay? Okay, arms by your side, take your feet to the to the foot bar, okay? You might do one little check, we lift up, make sure we're in a good spot, and we rest, okay? Now let's do this, go heels together, push out, you're gonna hold it out there, and just, let's start with the left leg, left leg goes up, okay? So here we are. Now start with the tick-tock first, just taking that leg side to side, and stop that right here. Now single leg circle, okay? I'm gonna relax my right heel, okay? I'm still turned out, but I'm not in a high heel, okay? Left leg, in and around and up, and again, in and around and up. Two more, in and around, and one more, in and around. Hold at the top, regroup. Be aware of how your shoulders feel. Are you being pushed, pushed, pushed? against your shoulder rests, okay? Kind of control that here. Sometimes your clothes, you have no choice but to slide a bit. But we circle away, we cross over. When I cross over, my hip lifts a little bit and center. Circle away, around, over, and up. Circle away, around, over, and up. And one more. Oh. And then you're up. Take that left foot down, your heels find each other, and you come in and rest for a second, oh, good, okay? Arms are by your side, your heels are touching. We push away, my right leg goes up, I relax my left heel, here I am, and I tick-tock, oh, and oh, <laughs> right? All right, super, stop that. All right, here we go, cross in and around. Cross in, good. Feels good on this side, my left side. A little bit wonky, and one more. And I stop at the top, okay? Go the other way. I need to do four each way. Maybe we're doing four. Here's two more, super crunchy. And go one more, and then I'm up. That right leg lowers down to the foot bar, my heels touch, I bend my legs. Whew. I come in, nice. See what I really want right now is a bridge. So I'm gonna kind of stabilize myself here. My instep is on the foot bar. I'm just gonna bridge up. I'm not really, and then roll down, yeah. Try it again. So you don't, use your, use your muscles. So just keep the, the carriage still as you just bridge up and down you go yeah it's hard when there's very little springs on to not let the carriage move but we can do it so then those knees go side to side you might just take your legs long let your arms open to the sides and just give yourself a good old stretch right here or even taking it further <laughs> all the way through yeah and just letting the hips open there's lots of flexion, right? Your hundred, your leg circle. That's it, so just let that happen there. Great, okay. Flip back to the bar, back to the bar. Send your legs over the bar. Arms go up to the sky. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And we pull right up. Just be here, push down, and lengthen that spine a bit. All right, we don't want that foot bar to really move there. Okay, good. Let's relax that. Take your legs off. Let me see here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to um, some arm work. I'm gonna change it to one yellow spring. Okay, one yellow. Uh, let's see, let me just make sure I'm getting it all here. I am. Great, okay. So again, back on your back. Why don't we practice getting down again? So let's come on over to the other side here. My right foot goes in line with the edge of the carriage. 
Um, my left leg goes behind. I'm here, genie arms. I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna sit down. So I have one cheek on, one cheek off. Right hand goes to my shoulder rest, down I go, and then I just turn around, okay? So now, one arm goes to, uh, to the ceiling, bring a leg to table, leg to table, my other arm's gonna go by my side. You know what? We're gonna start left arm first, because we start left leg first. So give me the left, right arm is by your side, leg up, leg up, hold right here. Okay, and again, I'm being real aware of this tabletop position. I'm not here, I'm here. And notice my feet, they're not down here, because then the whole leg is just like blah. So, yeah, you can see in the mirror. So, heels a little bit above the knees. Okay, my left arm is gonna press down and resist up. Press down and resist it up. And again, press down, resist it up, and one more, press down, and resist it up. Now this one, press down. The left arm is just gonna bend and extend. And again, bend and extend. Bend it, extend it, and one more time, bend it and extend it. Now I'm down here, palm in, open and close. You really have to stabilize quite a bit and you open to the side. Again, open, close, one more, and then close it. Take that arm up, okay? You can take a rest here, whatever you need. Okay, the rest is over. Now, let's put those three together. So, hunkering in here, heavy tailbone, I press down, I bend, I extend, I open, and I close. And again, I lift, and I lower. I bend my arm, I extend it, I open a little bit to the side, and I close. Again, we lift and we lower. And you bend and extend, open a little, and draw back one more. Lift it, lower it, bend it, extend it, open and close. Take that arm up, take those feet down. Ooh, give yourself a break. Hang up that uh, arm strap, that's it. Yeah, I think probably the harder part is that tabletop that whole time. Oh, just take a sec here. Okay, remember we don't want this to go into the neck. So if this sequence is going to your neck, you could do two things. One, lessen the springs. So go from a yellow or a medium to a light. Or you could not do it, right? Or you could do it without any tension at all. Right? Just take the spring away all together. Okay, here we go. Legs at tabletop, hand, right hand is in the strap, feet are a little bit above the heels. Good, we hold right there. And now, just four times, lower that arm and lift it. The arm remains straight as you lower and then you lift. Two more. You're gonna lower and lift and one more. You're gonna lower and then you're gonna lift. Okay, now in this one, lower down, and now we go into that tricep. Bend and extend. This sequence, um, it's called the Mid-Back Series. I borrowed it from Stott, S-T-O-T-T, -T, Pilates. They're based in Canada, love them. Okay, I think that's four. Palm flips in, and you open and close. Open and close. It's just a little open, right? and you close, and one more, and then you close. Good, arm goes up, good. You can take a rest for a second. We're gonna put those three moves together and do it four times through. All right, so bring your legs right back up, hold it here, think about elongating your neck, okay? And now right arm gets to move. You lower, you bend it, you extend it, and you open and you close, right? Again, lift and lower and bend it, extend it and open. I feel like my legs are shifting to the left. I don't think they are though. But again, up and down and bend, extend and open. One more, again, lift and lower, bend it, extend it 
and open and close. And the arm goes up, rest those feet. And again, do what you gotta do here to get those hips to relax, okay? Now what I'd like to do, I'd like to do it with both arms, okay? It's gonna feel really light because now you have two arms helping you. Bring your legs up. Let's just send your legs straight. Yours are straight up. And we'll just do it four times through with both arms. So we press down and we bend and extend and open and close. Again, lift. Feel your left, let's just this dorsal muscle as you press down. Bend, triceps, and down. And then you open deltoids, lats, as you close. Again, we lift and we lower and you bend, extend, open, and close. Flex your feet, and again, lift, and lower, and bend, extend it, and open, and then we close. Nice, okay? So take a foot to the foot bar, foot to the foot bar, arms go up. You can drop these things off. Good. All right. Nice. You want to just let your arms open a little bit. Mm -hmm. Turn your head as best you can between these shoulder rests. Send your legs long, arms go up to the ceiling, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. So it's interesting because I notice when I, I'm a little bit over to the left there. Okay, and now pull right up maybe. Oh, good. All right, spin those legs right off and let's move on here. Okay, so. Okay, so I don't want to do anything all fours because it goes into the neck a little bit. And it's mainly trying to hold the neck long. So we're going to avoid that. Um, so let's go ahead and grab your long box. I should have mentioned that earlier. You're going to need that. So you grab the long box and you're going to place it towards the front edge of the carriage by the springs, okay? Good. I'm going to change my spring to one red spring, okay? So one red, off the yellow, got my notes. All right, so this, um, this is really cool. This is from, um, yeah, this is from, uh, gosh, I don't know exactly which, oops. I can't remember who I learned this from. I've been, I don't know, anyway. Okay, so, now what I need to do here is I need to switch to a loop. So I've got, from your tower, maybe you have a loop. Even if you don't, you can go through the loop here. And I lied about the red spring. You gotta change this to a light one, either a green or a blue, whatever your light one is, okay? Okay, so hopefully you have an extra loop that you can use. Okay, so I got this. I'm gonna actually double it up. Okay, great, okay. So hopefully you can see this in the mirror. So you're gonna sit on the box. I'm gonna take my left leg here, okay. Now, my right foot is gonna go in this. I think I'm able to see this in the mirror. Right, Riley? So my right foot goes in. Kind of awkward to get into, but here I am, okay? So sitting up nice and tall. This left leg, if it doesn't work here, you could take it here, okay? So either way, okay? Now, if it's here, you want it to kind of serve as a guide for this right leg. In fact, why don't we leave it there? Let's leave it here. So you're sitting up nice and tall, okay? And now, I wonder, can you see this in the mirror? Yeah, I think you can. You see my foot? There's my foot, see my foot? Okay, so I'm sitting up nice and tall. My right foot is gonna open and close. And I pull open and close. I'm sitting up nice and tall. I got a big old baggy sweatshirt on today. But, good, and I open and I close. So my foot, open, you can see it there. Yeah, Riley, Riley's not in the way anymore. And we open 
and close. I'm gonna make a little adjustment. I want my hips in line with each other and I open. I can feel myself compensating here. Again, open and close and one more open and we close, right? Now I'm gonna hold my shin, my ankle in line with my knee. Here I am. I lift my leg and I lower it. My goal is that the carriage does not move. And I lower it. Again, I lift and I lower. Again, I lift and I lower and go one more. Lift and then I lower and then I'm gonna go ahead and release that. Okay, so take that foot out. And we can just do -si -do to the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same loop. All right. Like I said, this one's kind of awkward to get into, but I do like the idea of the inside leg guiding, kind of keep being a measure for the outside. So here I am. I'm gonna take, well, I'm let this go for a second. Take your right leg on. Okay, see how my foot is pressing against my thigh? So my thigh has kind of an anchor, okay? Another progression, a, a, a progression here would be, I'll show you, to be here. So you don't have that anchor. So you'd really have to control this side, okay? But this is the first time you might be doing this. So let's use that right leg. I pull, I put my foot right on there. Good, and here I am, okay? You can't really see this foot here, but hopefully you'll be able to. So I make sure I'm nice and square. See how my foot's in it? Okay, so here I am. And now I let my foot go in and I rotate out. Some glute medius work here, and I rotate out. I'm in, I'm trying not to let my foot do it because my foot wants to like go one, one, right? And again, I push out come back. I feel like I need to fix myself here. In and I push out. I've really got to stabilize here because the tension wants me to slide and I don't want to slide. Good. And again, I'm in all as much as I can with this foot. See it down there? Down there. And then I pull the other way and I'm here and I pull. Oops, that slid. Some trouble on this side. Okay, so here, and I pull, here, and I pull. Yeah, I can feel it in this left side here. And I pull, and one more time here, and I pull. Now, keeping my knee in line, and my ankle in line with my knee, here I am, and I lift, and I lower. So, I'm really working here. I can feel the stabilizing come from that right side. And again, up I go, and down, and up it travels, and down, the carriage does not move. Up I go, and down one more. Up we go, and we're down. Good, relax that, I bring this foot in, and I take it right off, okay. So let's take that loop off that, okay. And I think since we're here with the, um, I wanna do that, let me pick, oop, let me grab the other one. All right, so take a moment for your transition here. I need this. Okay. Where are we here? Okay. All right, yeah, so I think since we're here, let's go ahead and do some mermaid here uh, with the elevated box, with the long box, so your hips are elevated. So again, facing, actually, we're gonna face the back of the room first, okay? That's it, okay, it makes sense. So, my right leg is here. Wait, let me just think about this for a second. So, right side. We're gonna just turn around, okay? So you're here, that's it, okay? So, one more adjustment. Pull your box a little bit away from the springs. Just a little bit, okay? Because you do want some space um, from the foot bar. So now here I am. My left shin is against my, um, uh, what do you call it, shoulder rest. And I want one butt cheek, one butt, to be hanging off, okay? So I can maximize my stretch here. So right hand goes on my 
one other, one other adjustment, sorry about that. Reach down here, guys, and change it to like a yellow spring instead of the blue. You do wanna have some tension here. So here I sit, arms go out to a T, right hand goes on my foot bar, and I push. Oh, if you could hear all the cracks that just happened. And then come over and put my hand on the back. This I learned from Tracy Mallet. And again, over you go. Oh my gosh, good. And up you're gonna go. Hand here, and we reach. Nice. And again, over we go. We're gonna keep it simple like this. We're gonna come back to this at the end and come here. Good. So the idea being, the idea that this is, it can be lower so you can really get a bigger stretch. Now from here, just here and here, good transition, huh? Yeah. Okay, so my right shins against there. I want my right side to be hanging off a bit. Arms go to a T, left hand goes on my foot bar, and I just reach. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? Up I go, I grab the back there, and mermaid over. Never disappoints, right? Over we go. And then up, reach back, and you get one more here. Ah, and then up you go, and we're here, because we're gonna come back to that. All right, good. Let's go ahead and slide right off of this. Now just take your long box, and you're gonna take it long, long ways, instead of the short box. I think I've shared the story before. When I first got my reformer, I went to pick it up, and she's like, oh, I got all the accessories. She, I saw this, she was in like, here's your long box. And I said, well, where's my short box? She's like, oh, you newbie, you're a newbie. Okay, I'm switching to one light spring, right? A blue or a green? The blue is a little bit heavier than the green, okay? So now, put your foot bar down, Let's forget that. My hands are on here, okay? And now I'm just gonna slither right on, okay? So, I'm just gonna worry about keeping my neck nice and long here. Hands go on the rails, heels together, toes apart or not, wherever your legs wanna be. And now I walk up the rails and I'm grabbing my poles, okay? These are out of frame, okay? But you can kinda see in the mirror. Now all I wanna do here is keep my body in line. So my neck is long, and I just pull through, and I reach long. And I pull through, elbows are wide. I reach long. Again, pull through, and reach long, and one more. Okay, no, elbows are wide there. Now, I want my elbows to go down. My elbows go down. Yeah, you gotta be careful. I can feel myself inching a little bit further on this box. And go two more. Keeping my spine long, and one more, okay? All right, now, let's go ahead and take your left hand on top of your right. So now you're just a bit angled, and go four here, like that. So you're getting a little stretch in that left shoulder. Keeping the neck long, and go one more. All right, then we transition to the other side. Left hand is on. Right hand goes on top, and again, I pull, and I come back, and I pull. This feels a lot heavier than just one blue spring. And go two more, and go one more. Come back to center, hand on each. Now, we're just gonna put the elbows, we're gonna uh, alternate the elbows. So, wide pulls me in, I drop them, and I lower. Wide pulls me in, I drop them, and I lower. Let's just do one more. Wide pulls me in, I drop, and I lower. Now we're gonna reverse that. Elbows are low or narrow, and then they go wide for me to go out. Elbows drop, I pull in, wide. Again, three. And then I'm out, just like that. Hand down, hand down, and I slowly walk myself back. Now, ideally, I'd love to stay on the box here. So I'm gonna push, push myself up. It's not very glamorous. Come to a knee, come to a knee. I like to be up here, because I wanna sit back. I want my hands here, so 
so I can really hang back. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Just like that. Oof. All right, up we go. I'm gonna go ahead and step off carefully. All right, shake that out, guys. All right, we have a couple more things to do here. Yes, okay. So let's just do a little bit of side. Um, okay, so this is how we're gonna work the side body. I want the foot bar up. All right, yeah, these are really good. And I'm gonna go to one red spring. All right, lie down on your side. I'm gonna put the headrest up. You might even grab a pillow, okay? So we're on our side, I'm here, and my right foot is on. So you wanna make sure you are stacked up on your shoulders. Left leg is gonna, actually left leg goes long, okay? Right foot is on the bar, and I just push away, and I come back in. When I come in, I might lift my heel. I push away, and I come back in. Again, push away, come back in. My left leg is active, push away, and I come back in, okay, nice. Now, turn the leg out, and turn your bottom leg out. So the knee is up, and I push away, and I come back. And you can have your arm high here too, and come back, all the way in. Push away, and then come back, and one more push away, and then come back, okay? Turn the leg parallel, push away. Hold it, stay here. Elongate, lift up under your left ribs. Top leg lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. And last time, lift, hold, 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 hold. For four, for three, for two, for one. And then you bring the whole thing back in. Now, turn out, push away. You are turned out. So first your heels touch, if you're on high, the front foot goes, or the bottom foot goes forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, one more forward, one more back, heels touch, keep the bottom leg straight, and bend to come all the way in. Nice, stack up those knees, just simply push yourself up, and just be here for a sec, and just side bend. All right, spin those legs around. Okay, we're getting towards the end, guys. So let's come down on this side now, okay? Good. Top leg is on there, bottom leg is long and through, okay? You wanna make sure you're all the way on your side, okay? And now we push, that just feels good. And you come back, you might go, you know what, I want more tension. Yeah, you could go red and blue or red and green or two yellows. And then come back in. Let's go again and come back in. Okay, now knee up. Oh, that just feels good. And your bottom leg is turned out as well. Push out, top arm goes high. And again, out you go. Yes, you gotta kind of find the end of it there. Out you go and you're in. Mm, I just looked, put my foot back more. And again, out I go and I'm in and one more. Out I go, and then I'm in. That feels really good. Okay, turn back to being parallel. Nice, and now from here we press out, we're here. Bottom leg, lift and lower, lift it. Yeah, and be careful that you're not leaning with your big toe. Lift and lower, and lift and lower. One more, lift, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then bend your left leg to come in. Left leg turns out, so does the bottom leg. And now we push out, we stay there, left arm goes high. And try to look straight ahead, not up, okay? Bottom leg, so first your heels touch, then you go front and back, and front and back, and front and back, and one more, front and back, inner thigh mania, I love it, heels touch. And then you bend and you come all the way, all the way in, good, nice. And now bend both legs, push yourself right up, you could really play with that sequence and alternate between parallel and turned out if you wanted. Good. I'm gonna switch away just because. Oh. Okay, let's finish this up. So we need to do chest expansion, right? So why don't we do this? I'm gonna put all the springs on. 
just because I don't want the carriage to move at all. And you're gonna come right up on your knees. The carriage is not gonna move. I clip my toes right under there. Yeah, I'm kind of out of frame, it's okay. Arms reach, hold right here. Slice your arms back, open up your chest, look right, come back center, look left, come back center, float the arms down, super. Again, slice the arms back, open up the chest, right? Hold it there. Don't flare the ribs, right? Hold right there. Flip your palms forward. This time, look left. Come back, and then look right. And then come back, and then reach those arms long. Nice, okay, good. So, let's do this now. Back on your um, reformer. Let's go on the carriage. Let's go to the springs that we started with. Two yellow, one green, okay? Or two medium and one white. All right. Good. Okay. Just go ahead and lie down. Good. Okay. So feet are on, arms are by your side. Yeah. Notice how your neck feels. I like this lower or down all the way. Okay. Legs are parallel. I want you to push out and now we walk and walk and walk. Just like that. Perfect. And walk, walk, walk. Notice the transition between sides, right? And walk. Tailbone's heavy, arms are by your side. And you're breathing, just loving it. Let's go four like this, three like this, two like this, one, drop those heels. I had this one client, um, awesome lady, her name is Bernice, her name is Bernice, and I, First time I met with her, I said, so what's your favorite exercise? Push out again. And she said, tendon stretch, this, right? The prancing, the running. And I said, oh, really, why? And she said, because it's the end. <laughs> That's it. That's it, good. Let's go four, go three, go two, go one. Hold one down. Maybe clip those toes, give yourself a little bit more. Switch sides, a little bit more. Drop both heels. Take a minute, and then bend your legs, come on in, super. Let those knees just go side to side a couple times. Perfect, all right. Now let's do this. Roll uh, to the left, push yourself right up, and we're gonna come to standing, okay? I like to end the sessions with standing chest expansion. Okay, you've already done it once, but let's do it here, add the balance piece to it. Arms reach. Here it comes, guys. Slice your arms back, flip your palms forward, hold it there. Good, right? Your center of gravity, think about that. Engage right below your belly button. Hold here, look left, and then look right. Come back to center and float your heels down. Try it again. Slice your arms back, flip those palms forward, find it. Look right, center, and look left. Come back to center, float those heels down, arms go up, here you go, drop your elbows, lift your chest. Notice we're not gonna drop our head back, we're just opening the chest, come back, one more. That's it, good, arms go up. Notice if you can look up, and then look center, open the arms wide, and you are all done, yes, nice. So hopefully that was a nice session for you where we didn't have to worry too much about the neck. Oops, we didn't have to worry too much about the neck, okay? Um, okay, many times we're working so hard that it goes straight into our neck. And you can always put your head down, right? This whole session we have the head down, right? Um, good. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the mat sometime. Bye. Right, Riles? Right.